Welcome to Bookkeeper Support File Management Systems brought to you by Kelly Berger. So we understand that trying to organise our files can be a bit of a nightmare, especially as we're growing as a practice. So I wanted to give you an example of how to structure your client folders. So things are a lot easier for you to find when you're looking for specific things. So uh, I have a Dropbox file, you can have a Google Docs file, you can have whatever, you know, a OneDrive file, whatever works for you. Um, this is how I structure it. So I've got the client files folder. So it has all of my client names in the folder so that I can see clearly who I want to look at out of all of my clients. So client one, client two, client three, et cetera. And then within that folder, I have an admin folder. Now, the admin folder is where I've got all my authority forms, my templates for that client, the engagement letters signed and templates, the invoices that I send them for my services, the cash flow reports that I do for them, the budgets that I do for them, and the client manual, which tells me all about who they are, what services they need, and how I can help them the best. In that client folder, apart from the admin folder, this is what else we have. So we've got a financial year folder. You've got 2021 or you've got 2022, or you can go back if you've got more years, 2019, 2020, et cetera. But they have the same things in there. So you've got your September BAS folder, which has your bank rec, your P&L, your payroll reports, your balance sheet, your BAS reports, your GST reports. Now you can put all of those in there or you can subfolder them. It's entirely up to you. You can have a, a subfolder section for all bank rec, all reports. So you can throw your P&L and your balance sheet and your payroll reports and all your other, your BAS and your GC reports all into that one file. Or you can have your bank statements in there as well. So there's heaps of things that you can put in there, but it's entirely up to you how you want to structure it. But this is just an idea for you to understand, you know, what the what we do um, in our business uh, and how we try and manage and, and keep track of everything. So having it in a financial year folder. So I'll have the client name. So client one, admin folder, 2019 financial year, 2020 financial year, 2021 financial year. And then I'll have all this in, in um, each of those financial year folders. And it really helps me find things uh, quickly, especially when I'm on the phone to the ATO or on the phone with a client or whatnot. It's just much easier to find the information this way. So that's just an idea for you, um, just a, a way to structure your file system as you move forward uh, in your practice so you can keep track of everything. So if you haven't need any further assistance or if you, you have an idea and you're not sure if it's going to work, um, by all means, please contact us at admin at bookkeepersupport.com.au and we will help you as best as we can. Thank you and have an awesome day.